Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 56, all right. So a list parameter is going to be the result of a query selector, which will return a node list, all right? A node list is a list of elements like an array. It contains the elements that match the query selector. We will need to loop through these elements in the list. All right, so let's go over a node list real quick. So over here on the MDM web docs page, uh, node list objects are collections of nodes, usually returned by properties such as node.childnodes and methods such as document.querySelector all. So here's a note, although node list is not an array, it is possible to iterate over it, pardon me, to iterate over it with for each, with the for each method, also for loops. Uh, it can also be converted to a real array using array.from. All right. So let's go back to it. In previous steps, we learned how to loop through an array using a for loop. We can also use a for of loop to loop through an array and a node list, all right? So a for of loop is used to iterate over elements in an iterable object like an array. The variable declared in the loop represents the current element being iterated over. So we've got for const element of element array equals, pardon me, we've got a for const element of element array. And then in the guts of it, we've got console.log element, right? So we've got this thing over here as well in the for of thing for uh, the for of page for MDM web docs. So let's just go over it again, just to solidify it, solidify it, pardon me. The for of statement executes a loop that operates on a sequence of values sourced from an iterable object. Iterable objects include instances of built-ins such as arrays, strings, typed arrays, maps, sets, node lists, like we got right here, or like we're doing, as well as the arguments object, generators produced by generator functions, and user-defined iterables. All right. So for example, we've got const array one equals a, b, and c as these elements in order. So when we do for const element of array, and then say console.log elements, we're gonna have the expected outputs of A on the first line, then it'll loop through and do B on the second line, and then it'll loop through one more time and do C on the third line. So when we run it, it does just that. All right. So we're gonna create a for of loop that loops through the list. For the loops variable name, we're gonna use const to declare the variable called item. So instead of const element, we're gonna do const item. I guess just to show us that we can put anything we want here. So first things first, let's do a regular for loop. Let's let's make this the regular for loop way to see how this is kind of similar, right? So we'll say for let i equal zero. Well, i is less than list dot length. We'll do i plus plus, right? So we would come down here and to get this same effect, we would say console.log, console.log. And then we would say i, no, pardon me. We would say list at at i, all right? That's not i, there we go, at i right there. Let's put this in between a little comment real quick. So let's jam like that right there and put another one like this, all right? Okay, so we've got that, so we can keep looking at it. And let's do the for of, all right? So we'll say for, for, and then we're gonna say const item, all right? because that's what they're asking for here, here, pardon me, of list, all right? And you can see if we do console.log item, whoa, 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 whoa. item, it's pretty much the same thing as this right here, all right? It's just a few, it's a few fewer keystrokes, pardon me, a few fewer keystrokes, that's not a good sentence, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and instead of having to iterate like this, having an accessor on the list, we can just say item and it knows it's an access, it's an, it's an element on the list, just like that. So it's a little more concise, right? So let's get rid of this console.log because we don't need it. And we can just keep this here, why not? Uh, let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 57 and we'll see you next time.